Okay, hello. Hi. Oui, bonjour, hello. I am here with Gianna, my niece. Hola. Back by popular demand, because whenever I talk about it, people are like, where's your niece? Who's now Sorry, getting her... Masters. My master's is social work. At NYU. At NYU Silver. So she comes to visit her old aunt and grandma sometimes. All the time. I just saw someone who said like the the twenty something influencers are like, whereas older people go or what? I don't know. Yeah. It's a makeup thing. Okay, we but decided, do love talking to the camera. <laughs> we are going to talk quickly, just two or three minutes about. This is why this came up. I said, I have your birthday gift coming because her birthday is next week. And I ordered her birthday gift. And I ordered her birthday gift based on <laughs> something. It is something I like, but I think she will also like it because I believe that a gift should be what the other person likes. So I ordered the same thing for myself. She tends to borrow some of my things. I do. So I ordered something for the two of us. And I think it's something she'll like. And I said, I think it's something that it's even funnier you now said that I say this what your response was. Because I said, it's something I ordered for the both of us, something I think you'll like, something that's been talked about on social media. And you said written a lot about. And written a lot about, though she might not know that, but once she sees what it is and she looks it up, she'll see that it was written about it and it's something kind of funky and new. And her response was, what was your response? I said, so did you get me something about like ovulation? <laughs> Which now is even funnier to me because do I ovulate? No. Why do I not ovulate? Because you don't have ovaries. I have no ovaries. <laughs> uterus. I'm 52 and I have no uterus or ovaries because they were removed when I had ovarian cancer at age 46. I don't ovulate. At the time, I thought it was funny because I said, let's talk about this. Do you ovulate? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't. Like This is a quiz to all y'all out there. When you are on a birth control pill, save for one progesterone-only pill, but all the other birth control pills, patch, or ring... They are typically combined estrogen and progesterone. And the mechanism through which they provide either birth control or fewer periods or lighter periods or control of acne and mood, PMDD, or hair growth or all the things that women go through is what? Evening out your hormones and stopping ovulation. So if you are on the pill, do you ovulate? No. So did your aunt buy you... Something related to ovulation for your birthday. Which, by the way, would also be really weird. Like, what kind of a gift is well, that? Well, I don't know because you're like, oh, it's been written a lot, but you wouldn't know. So, like, it made me think that you would know about it. So, it was, like, a gift having to do with, like, the ovaries. Well, you also don't know a lot about fashion that I know about. So, maybe that's what I have <laughs> to do with. But, anyway, this was where I said, okay, this is a good opportunity to just reiterate. When one is on the pill, a human with ovaries, if she is on a pill, a patch, or the vaginal ring, the mechanism through which it works is evening out your hormones, which eliminates ovulation. Because ovulation requires our hormones to go up and down in a very specific pattern. Okay? Okay, for now. I'll probably forget. <laughs> the dog is jumping on me. I'll oh, probably. Poppy wants... Hi, Poppy. Poppy, you don't ovulate either. <laughs> Why? Because oh, because she Poppy did. got fixed. No, Olive and, wants And it. Olive. Hi, Olive. Um, okay, one more quick question before you jump off. Is it safe to skip your period if you're on the pill? Yes, I know that answer. Okay, why is it safe? But it's not natural. Oh, I don't know. But I just know it. it I, I. But isn't the pill not natural? Which this kind of ties into, I feel like, I mean, a different conversation where we were saying that all these influencers are coming <gasps> out and, like, talking about their, like, bad experiences with the pill, which that's fine to each their own experience. But we were talking about, about then that how that, they have this huge following and Hold, please. I'm going to stop, and then this video is going to be posted tomorrow. Hold on. 